Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 7 of my Ungrim supporter campaign. I know it's a bit late, I'm sorry Christmas got in the way, and then when I went to record it, I started vomiting. Not because, not because of the game, that was just a coincidence, but I had, a, had that. There's, there's like a 24 hour vomit bug going around. And uh, yeah, so for 24 hours, I was vomiting my guts up. It wasn't great. I think my child, my child probably had something very similar, if not that very bug, a few weeks back. I don't know how it circled round back to me, but yeah. So yeah, that kind of knocked out any recording plans, unfortunately. But don't worry, we're back. I am. This is this is actually I'm recording on my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Um, if you want to send gifts, do because I'm great. <laughs> Last time, we <laughs> last time we um, God almost beat up as Hag, and he's 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 on the ropes. And the poll was, do you want to finish him off or just leave the AI to do it? And of course, people said, what the fuck are you thinking? Just go and finish him off before he comes back and starts killing everyone. And that's probably a sensible sensible idea. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I think we're kind of stable at the moment, but I just feel like our borders are a little bit little bit wobbly what i want to try and do is if we can like knock out knock out vlad knock out azhag that then kind of puts us in a reasonable position on our west flank which means we can concentrate on our east and south and potentially north because there's rk on there So that could be a problem, but um, we'll worry about that in a minute. First things first. I know it does, mate. I know it does. I know it does. It's fine. Right, we're staying in ambush there just in case. I'm hoping Tretch is busy elsewhere. I'm tempted to actually go on the offensive a little bit. Uh, Money-wise, not too bad. But for all the settlements we have, I feel like I should probably be doing... We've, we've got like two two armies. Two armies making 2,000 income. Well, no, it's two and a half. Two and a half armies, and I still don't fit. Well, I guess I could recruit more, but then you don't have the money for the the other bit. Oh, fuck knows. I don't know. It's um. Yeah, I know. I keep saying it, but I really do like the 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 way that uh, Total War Troy does it, where you kind of have your resources for building infrastructure and recruitment separate, so that you you're not constantly having to balance the. Do I want to build buildings so I can get more stuff? Or do I just recruit enough armies to hopefully fend off attacks? I know you get money from fighting battles now, which is obviously useful, but uh, it never really feels like enough, does it? Yes, my oath is intact. Um, right. I ideally want to be able to replenish. Although, does that matter? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll hop over there. I think he's only got three settlements left. He does. Excellent. I'm hoping Kislev will mobilize against Hazhag and make my life a little bit easier. Uh, Dirk, you're just going to sit there. We're just going to build up our uh, defenses. I'm going to move you down here to act as a... T I, what I would like to do is take out Silver Pinnacle if we could. Because if we can hold that, that's a nice like defensive position there for us. Uh, we will be able to get the Ma, the gold mine at Karagongor, but I did build defenses because I think that's probably so. Is this a nah, fuck it, we'll, we'll get the gold mine. It's probably probably better, isn't it? Uh, grudges. How how are we doing for grudges? Fifty seven. So we're not currently angry. We're just grumbling, grumbling. Yes. And uh, what? What's right? In three battles against Sylvania, well, we'll definitely do that at some point. Silver Pinnacle, we'll definitely do that at some point. That's a 15, so that's a 30. So that's quite chunky. Uh, capturing Occupied Karag Vlag, that is quite far away. Like, goof. Doof. Sees distant. Very distant. Archaon, what are you doing? Are you actually at war with these guys? You're with the Ice Court, and that's it. Guarantee he's going to declare war on me in a minute. Okay, deck. You just stay down there. You're fine. Do we want to build defenses? Yes, probably. Uh, not defenses. A thingy magic in kit. No, not kids left. Uh, another. And uh, not 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 for Ostroska's Archaeon's heading in that direction. Uh, more time. Probably not a great position. Naganhof is is well. Fort. Was there Fort Jackov? 
No? Really? Come on. All right, Naganhoff then. Naganhoff. I'm not, not super into it, but Naganhoff. Maybe we can get some some bear calf. Oh, that'd be good. Hey, bit of bear calf. Yeah, now we're talking. I'm still not 100% after. I literally spent last night running to the toilet. Uh, not great, but I definitely feel a little bit more human now, even though I have no desire to eat anything, which, to be honest, after Christmas is probably a good thing. So, how is everyone's Christmas? Good, I hope. Everyone had a nice time. Hope you got lots of prezzies. What did I get? I got my travel mug. I got a new travel mug, which I really like. So that's nice, because, you know, in the occasion where I, I have to go into work, um, I do like to take a coffee to try and soften the blow somewhat. So that's nice. Yes. I, but the axe of Doug. Boop. Okay, any mean I'll just occupy. Alright, alright, we got we got Azhag on the ropes, I feel like. We got him on the ropes, that's great. We can get the gold mining pit, lovely. More growth, yes, fantastic. No armies heading this direction from oh, looks like Ungrim's doing I'm I'm not I'm you know, I'm not gonna look at Ungrim too much, just in not Ungrim, Grim and Gore. No, Thorgrim. Fuck! Fuck these dwarf names, they're all basically the same. It's all Grim, Thorgrim, Ungrim. Belagar, Belagar isn't grim, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, don't need to be a blade master. I kind of do. Yeah, yeah. Go on then. Go on then. Uh, Rune of breaking is fun. Do I have any? So what have you got? You've got Rune of Fren well, frenzy. Is always good. Dazed is fun because that reduces. No, dazed. Yeah, do you get dazed or do you just get sundering? Question mark. Mm. And obviously the twenty percent extra weapon strength is good. You've also got a quest battle you could do, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Do I? Here's a question. Do I get? Because these slayers aren't real. Like I like, I love the slayers. I do. They just very squishy. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I could get rid of the Thunderers, maybe get some. What, what am I missing in this army? What am I missing in this army? I guess something to do with enemy artillery. Like a tanky front line, really. I do quite like the Raiders. I could get rid of the Thunderers. Uh, to be honest, I probably want to get rid of the Quarrelers and get some get some thunderers in here. We'll merge the... Of course you made those guys. Ah, oh, fuck, it's fine. Right, we'll get rid of you. And then I don't have enough money to recruit anything else. But that is as planned, you see. You might think that I didn't check beforehand. But nothing could be further from the truth. I've got a really big stress ball. It's great. It's, it's like huge. It's like the size of your hand. It's fantastic. It's really therapeutic to squeeze that. Yeah, I'm going to be squeezing it a lot in playing Total War. <laughs> oh, that's not true. I love Total War. I do. I wouldn't play it as much if I didn't like it. I love the game. I genuinely love Total War, right? It, it's just a great game, but fuck me, does it piss me off sometimes. I guess all the things you do love do piss you off sometimes, don't they? Like children, for example. Okay, building's damaged, of course. Where? Where? Do I care? Where was my building's damaged? Yeah. Such a pointless... Such a pointless event, this. It, make, it just makes you click several times for, like, a pittance of income. Like, that's it. That's, that's, the, that's the only effect. What is the point? Nothing. It doesn't do anything. Oh, right, um... Ungrim, you need to replenish for a turn, so you are you are fine. What are you? Right, you've got you've got artillery, you've got nasty stuff. Don't like any of that. We could get the sky hammer. That's quite expensive. That is quite expensive. Um could get the gold bar? Sure. 
If we get those two... The only problem is you do have... You are in an extra defensive stance. So you will get an extra... You just get... Mm, yeah, you'll get melee defense and leadership, which is not very fun. Plus, of course, you have at least two goblin rock lobbers, which is going to be very irritating to deal with. I'm not entirely sure. This is quite a nasty army. But let's go for it anyway. It says Pyrrhic victory. Um, I have killed a lot of greenskins. I'm just going to all resolve that. I just feel like I've killed a lot of greenskins recently. That's right. Get the fuck out of my life. Dickheads. The other trickster shard. I should have probably given you some items, shouldn't I? A dragon helm. Oh, the gatekeeper's belt. Did I, I was going to give that to you, wasn't I? Potion of healing. Gatekeeper's belt. Yeah, because that gives you 40% damage resistance when you're below 25% hit points. You've also got the skill. Extremely daring bleth bow. Where under 20%, you'll get a massive boost to your, to your stats, which seems quite fun. So we'll go with that, and you... Oh, you're going to be Ant, aren't you? So you get Potion of Healing. Let's go with that one. I could give you the Trickster Shard, but to be honest, we don't have any magic, so it doesn't really make any sense to give you that. It's kind of kind of a useless one for us. Uh, Rune of Dismay, I could give you that one. Um, I mean, I don't know if Vanguard deployments would be useful, but sure. Income, why not? A Koopa, yes. When fighting Greenskins, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't think Dwarves really desperately need... More, more of that, but sure. It feels like, you know what, I would like an ancillary, like increase the replenishment rate of Slayers. That would be nice. That would be good. Grimnir's heirs, let's go with that. Because, you know, our entire front line is Slayers, so... Kind of makes sense. Uh, let's give Deadly Blades. Sure. I mean, what? Is there a garrison there? Hmm, there's not a garrison there. So we could potentially take these guys on. If we replenish, hit Silver Pinnacle, take them all out. Yeah. Right, you need to replenish for a turn, so you can wait there and do that. Uh, deck, I'm kind of re- I'm very tempted. It's kind of, kind of a bit ballsy. But I feel like maybe if we can advance and... What's this one? Noiseman? So, defeat the following... So, we know at least... Which one's this one? The Verminous Outrage Grudge. Right. Raid any region. So we need to do that one. And we also know at least there's one army at least there. So there might not be any armor at Mount Silver Spear, in which case deck yes. could potentially move in and grab that from Tretch, thereby cutting him off from, you know, a lot of his nastier units. Training dummies. More melee attack. All right. All right. Okay, we do need to raid. Is this their region? Yes. So if we raid this, that'll complete that grudge. Bosh. You are replenishing incredibly fucking slowly, so head in here. That should bolster that uh, a little bit. Okay, then we need to hibbity hop, bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventures beyond compare. We're a bunch of basically naked short people. So, it looks like Kislev have actually managed to take out, or are on the, on the cusp for taking out Griffinwood, which is great. But I'll tell you what I would like. Get military access from... I mean, Carl really likes me, so... Why why are you so against this? It is good to see our allies of the mountains. And yet no military access treaty. By the comet. Piece the of shit. Calls. The Golden Order only has one settlement, so I don't really want a defensive alliance with them, or a military alliance for that matter. The Celeste. Uh, I wouldn't if we could get the Lord of the Jade Swan. Who are you at war with? Receives you. Uh the Pox make it tell you what, I'm gonna declare war on those guys for you. Acceptable. If we get that one, I'm hoping we might be able to sort of like turn that into a rolling boost and eventually get a military alliance with them. Because I feel like having Xiao Ming on our side at this point, pretty fucking useful. 
not gonna lie. The more money we have, obviously, the better. Welcome to my throne. Zarina! What do you want? Join your war against all of those guys for 4,000. No. Fuck me. If, it, if, if we reversed, if we reversed positions, there's no way in hell the AI would accept 4,000. No way in absolute bollocking hell, four grand would do it. I guess isn't really going to... Come here. There we go. Okay, Griffinwood has fallen, which means they've only got one little holdout left, which is great. Okay, finally, replenishing, replenishing. Why aren't we? Did we not? Oh, we did it. We did it. Good. All right. Good. 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 Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. You've got this, my son. Yeah. Fuck those rats. We're moving in. Uh, I thought Mount Silverspear was their main settlement. It's not. It's Crookback Mountain. It's over here. I wonder if... So now you're at war with Kislev. What about Imerick? I'm wondering if we, can, if we can link up with Imerick and give him this stuff, because I don't really want it, to be honest. Well, do I want this? Well, it's just really hard to defend, and to be honest, I'm spread thin as it is. I'm spread thinly across toast like Marmite. Don't want to reinforce gate at this moment in time. New. What I want is anything which can give me more money. Like this. And something like Castle Drakenhof is sad. I wonder if I could give that. Uh, Let us discuss stately affairs. Do you want Castle Drakenhof? 4,000? There you go. I didn't really want it. So uh, thanks for that. That's gonna that's gonna be a boost. We could potentially upgrade Karak Droma, because it is kind of out in the sticks. It's right at the edge here, and we've got, it will take us ages to reach it if anyone declares war on us, which is, it is time. not the best. Not the best. I mean, I could actually use the marble. The problem with the AI you can get trade agreements and trade resources, but the problem is the AI sometimes just doesn't bother building the trade buildings. <laughs> They just don't. They just won't give a fuck. They don't. They don't. They've got them. They're just like, yeah. Who cares? Do we have any iron? Uh, where's the nearest iron? That's the point. We can actually click on it, can't I? And then I can find out where the nearest iron is. Seriously, that one. There's some down there. Like, look. Look, these guys have got the right. These guys. Theoretically, I've got a trade trade agreement with these guys. Importing zero ingots. I'm guessing that's because they got too many trade partners and so on they haven't built the building i'm guessing i don't know i don't know how does trade work in total war no one like well i guess everyone does know but it's it's such a weird system isn't it such an odds it's just it's something that was like thrown in i feel like were there trade goods in a t i think there were trade goods in attila weren't there was it in rome i think it was in rome so you get trade goods but then you just sort of, like, with a trade agreement, you just, like, trade them. It doesn't really... It doesn't really explain it. You kind of just have to know how the trade system works. To know. Otherwise, it's sort of weirdly opaque. Shameful display. Minus three control. I don't really care, sure. I want to keep Thorgrim sweet. It's going, it's going up. It's going up. It's getting there. It's getting there. Do we have any... Hang on. Quick deal. The Empire. Not you. Repel. Not you. So, Hello. Welcome. Oh, hang on, 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 hang on. Yes. 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 Right. Perfect. Perfect. Tell you what. Greetings from Military Sigma. Alliance as well. So be it. Brilliant. Okay. Have we met the Bretonia then? Yeah. They, why an aversion and strategic threat? One, why are you adverse to me? Two, why the fuck up? Why the hell do you mind that I've got treaties with the Western provinces? You're so far away from them. What possible reason? Fuck me, these guys. These fucking guys. One rug. Ugh, just the just fucking worst. What? Right, well, that's good. 
We linked up with the Empire. I'm wondering if once we once we kind of dealt with uh, Azhag. Hey, very hot. To battle. We've got dwarves converging on Azhag's last holdout. He was looking very strong for a while, and then we fucking battered him. Time for a reckoning. For okay. We're going to head down here. We're going to hit Silver Pinnacle. Uh, I'm going to save... I'm going to save... Oh, yeah, I'm going to save my pennies. Do I want to go on the attack? I feel like yes. I feel like... The only problem is there might be a stack right in here. And I have no way of knowing that. And that would be risky. If they've got like a full garrison there and a stack, I don't want to get jumped because that would be that would be very risky. I'm wondering if maybe if we like ambush. That probably looks like a juicy target for them. So do we have... Okay, we've got the, the Gatekeeper's Hammer, Chilling Aura. It's all right, isn't it? Uh, do we have any... No. Sticking with things which now have marble... Dragon Slayer's Fang is fine, I guess. Oh, we can get the Scepter of Stone. Yeah, boy. Okay. That, that is an AoE. So, that will give us, yeah, the ability to drop rocks on people. Which, not gonna lie pretty fucking useful. What I can do is potentially just recycle this because I don't really think that's going to help us all that much. So we have 199 thingy majigs. That's not true. I guess it doesn't refresh until you reopen it. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Ugh. Rune of Battle. I mean, that's not the worst thing. It's just a nice nice little bonus across the board, isn't it? You can only have one per per army. But do I don't need that. Oh, it's a, it's a character rune. Ah, okay. Well, I guess is it? No, it's not. Fuck. <laughs> Looking at the wrong fucking thing, that's why. Okay, you can have you can have a thing of passage. Uh is there anything here? I quite like that. Income replaced battle loot is fine. This is trash. Get rid of that. Get one in there. Lovely. You can have a rune of battle as well. Okay. Outpost. Alright, so do we right, is there any is uh, Uber's Reich is Hello? Hello? Friends of the Slap one in there. Slap one on that bad boy. Lovely. Looking good. Okay, Null has fallen, and it looks like there's a lot of vampires heading in this general direction. So we cut up. Oh, they're dead. There we go. All right, well, we did move towards them, but we didn't need to in the end. Okay, I think we need to go and kill Vlad now, don't we? Because he is proving to be quite the little tinker. So killing him is high up on list of things to do. Uh, let's bolster those. These guys didn't they didn't spot me, but they didn't come to attack me, so that's fine. I'll go and take Silver Pinnacle. Uh, sure. Eeny, meeny, miny. You know what, I'm just going to occupy. And I quite like all of this, to be honest. I might keep it. Because this is going to help me uh, sure. So, I let's get more thunderers. Let's get a couple of those. Yes. I'm a little bit concerned we might get chaos dwarves on us, and that would be bad. But I probably need defenses here, don't I? Let's be honest, we probably need defences. Of course, the Chaos Doors can underway. Uh, but for the moment, we'll just hopefully ignore them and uh, they will go away. Who calls? Just ignore our problems Heat and drink heavily. Up. Up. Heed me. 
trade. I don't want a defensive with you because you're currently being over... You know what? I'm not going to even do that. It doesn't really see much point. Having... Repel chaos. Meowing. I shall permit this audience. Hmm. I wonder if... What can I get for that? Okay, I could get a trade agreement. I could get an on aggression. That will help with... Because you are you are friends it. with with the Western provinces. So that will help with them as well. So they'll like the fact that we've got an agreement with the the other provinces, the northern provinces. We could... I kind of want to do that. But to be honest, if you're keeping them busy, if you're, if you're keeping that lot busy... I might be okay. Maybe. I'd like another army down here. And I do have 4,000, which I could spend on it, but... Mm. Well, we're going to go, go and beat up Vlad. I'm hoping that Carl can keep him occupied while I go and clean up the south bit here. Doesn't there's quite a lot of vamp. Why is there so much vampire adjacent provinces? Come on. Okay, we'll, we'll take out Waldenhof and Eschen. That should hopefully... And then we'll sort of like head down to south to Schwarzhafen and then up to Averheim and start cleaning this out. I think that's the plan. You are going to be hard to hit. You just stay right there. Then we are going to... It is our responsibility to vanquish evil. Mm-hmm. Are you already at war with Vlad? No, 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 no. Why can't I ask you to declare war? Oh, because I'm not at war with Vlad, that's why. That's why I can't do that. I just assumed I was at war with them, because I seem to be at war with everyone all the time. But for once, for once, I'm not. No one is more surprised than me. Okay, green was one. Oh, right. Well, the Dripping Fangs are dead. At least takes a little bit of pressure off. These guys do not seem to be doing anything, which is both a concern and also pleasing. Okay, who are you at war with? Yeah. Okay, if I... So... If I declare war, the Ice Court will come and help. Oh, but they will! Okay. We're going to loot and occupy because I don't want to hold on to this. I'll give it to Kislev. I'll flog it off to him. Make you a mentor. Lovely stuff. Right, we'll hold on to it for a minute. In fact, shall I repair it? Will that... Will that give them... Will that make them... I don't know. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm not going to... I'm not going to do it this turn. I well, don't take Eschen. Swing back around. Schwarzhafen. Straight into this. Now, with any luck, Carl will be able to hold these stacks at bay momentarily. Maybe we can go and deal with Festus. If we deal with Festus... And also, right, well, to be honest, the Empire's looking a little bit a little bit ropey there. But um it's it's probably fine, not to worry. It it's yes, it's, it's it's fine. Okay, we'll upgrade you, because then we can upgrade you. Let's get more more bushels. And you are staying right there. Everyone is just I feel bad. I feel bad. That we've only, but I, f I feel like as soon as we move armies away from the other fronts, there will we'll have war declared, and then we'll have armies sort of rampaging through. And I don't really want that. So at the moment, unfortunately, Ungrim's the only army. You know, normally, I'll have the buddy system, so that if in the event, in the event that we get attacked by multiple stacks, at least we have multiple stacks as well. The buddy system is a is a great system, but I just, I mean, I probably could. I probably could put together something. Are you spotted or were you just not in ambush stance? Genuinely don't know. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go and grab this one. We will loot and occupy. What news do you bring to the Ice Throne, friend? Well, I was wondering if you wanted hang on, where is it? Uh Waldenhof, there he is. Do you want it? My people are... Enjoy. It's a little bit more temperate than you're used to. 
admittedly. <laughs> the slayer in me seeks death. So Blade Master. Uh, but still, I think you'll find it delightful this time of year. Also, with any luck, that'll cause the vampiric corruption to start dropping. Uh, mostly because I'm here, I think, but still. Still, the point stands. So we can hippity hop over to Schwarzhafen, grab that one, sell that one to Kislev. Then we could potentially like march into the into the heartlands, into uh, Avalon, Sterland, Wissenland, and Solon. Potentially give some stuff back to to Balthazar. Try and strengthen our allies a little bit. Lord knows they need it. Uh, we'll give you rally for a minute. So. Oh, you're not Obey. useful. I crave the Iron Dragon's assistance. We I don't really want to declare. Well, you know up. what? I could do the War Host of Czar. Because they're all the way up here, right? So the likelihood of them being a concern for me is pretty fucking low. The Iron Dragon. Storm also, Dragon. that'll make you like me more, which is important. So we have a look at the old latitudes. You like me, you like me. That's going up. Lovely. Grand Orthodoxy. Every, I mean, you know, we've got... There's a bunch of guys that like us. Oslin doesn't for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, because I'm a strategic threat. Considering all the things arrayed against them, I don't know why I'm the problem. But, you know, far be it from me to point these things out. Uh, we can upgrade that stuff fairly soon. We'll upgrade you. Probably should get more defences, but to be honest, at the moment, our western flank is looking fairly secure. He says. Famous last words. A mine dispute. Hmm. Or, you know what? I'll just give it to the Loyalist clan. It's fine. Hello? God, you must have a shit ton of armies. I can't quite reach you either, which is vexing. Very well. I'm going to hippity hop over here. They may march multiple stacks, but to be honest, these multiple stacks are quite shit. So I think we should be okay. And also that's taking pressure off Carl, which is good. Uh, with any luck, that will also mean that Kislev can bring some forces to bear in this general direction. <laughs> bear. Because they kisled. Good. Okay, and uh, we've got a little army of Skaven here, which is unfortunate for them. Come here, you little bastards. Jesus Christ, you ran miles. By the will. Hmm. It says medium casualties, which I do not like the idea of. So let's get. I don't really matter you. Vanguard deployment. Do you have any artillery? You do have some artillery, in which case we'll give that to you. And just generally more melee attack and stuff. I'll give that to you. We've taken out one warp lightning cannon already, but there's still three in operation. If we can take out another one, I might just send the, the dwarves hiding in the trees over here. Old Slayer's in to go and intercept that. Meanwhile, we've got a front line of Storm Vermin. Backed up by some weapon teams. This army's actually quite nasty. Like, they've also got some Doom Flayers, a Doom Wheel, another Doom Wheel. Weirdly, weirdly strong army as we dodge the Warp Lightning there. Very nicely done. Our Slayers are... I don't know how well the Slayers will do against Storm Vermin. I'm assuming the Storm Vermin... We'll do fine. I mean, they're fairly evenly matched. But we've got missile attack, so maybe it's fine. A Doom Wheel's broken through our lines and is heading for our missile units. Deck is moving in to engage, gets run over, but that's fine. He'll be, be able to deal with that. Rattling guns are causing us all kinds of issues. They just lay into our poor Iron Drakes. Hammer is coming around the flank. These guys, 69, the sexiest amount of melee attack. Of course, they also have Sunder Armour as well, which means they will murder anything they get their hands on. So we're going to send them after the Rattling Guns, because those guys are doing way too much damage. Oof. Slayers have uh, stopped the Warp Lightning Cannon from opening fire, which is good. 
And there goes the Scepter of Stone. Oh, it's so good. Look how much damage that did. And the hammer is now charging in with their prodigious 31 speed. Technically, the rattling guns could get away, but I think they're too busy getting hung up on each other. And then the uh, hammer is getting to range and it's all over because they do, of course, have that nice bonus versus infantry, a large armor piercing, weapon damage, and of course they do sunder, da um, sunder armor as well, which reduces the armor, which means the high chance of just penetrating all of their armor and ripping them to pieces. Slayers have been busy dealing with uh, rats being spawned in our midst. Those slayers over there are taking an absolute battering. And that doom wheel is slowly losing against deck. Kind of Kind of, kind of, kind of even there, although Deck is taking a lot of damage, but fortunately, our guns are now chasing down any fleeing enemy units. The Iron Drakes are roasting the Storm Vermin as they retreat, of course, because this army has retreated twice, although it did seem to retreat really far. They're all dead, so I don't need to bother chasing them down. Okay, well that was fine. However, I'm a little bit worried about just how close you are. Because you can ambush me. Unless I can just dart back into the city, which means you can't ambush me. So let's do that. Let's do that. Ooh, we do have some more giant slayers. Good. What does this army need? I still think he's a front line. The problem is the slayers are so squishy. Just explode at the drop of an hat. Can you recruit? No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. I'll be honest. I think we can we can mulch our way through um through skeletons and zombies all day long, baby. The frozen kingdom welcomes all its allies. Yes, have this one. Enjoy. We can get, if we can get some more money. You need extra defences. I mean, more money wouldn't hurt as well. Certainly wouldn't go amiss. Hmm, I don't think we had gem cutters obsidian quarries, maybe. Is there anything uh, I probably should do? I mean, I haven't really. All right, what about. Is there anything for slayers? No. Seriously? There is. It just doesn't want to show me. Oh, maybe it's capital S. Maybe it's. Nope. Okay, well in that case, I guess we just go for anything that would... Okay, if we go for the Dwarven Emissaries, because that'll help us with relations with Cathay, because they are humans. I'll say, getting Cathay on sides would be really, really fucking useful. Does anyone have gold chevrons here? No. Time for a reckoning. In that case, let's go route marcher. Does anything need upgrading? Anything new building? No, we're all good there, which is fine. How much are we making from trade? Two and a half K. It's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Greetings. You I'm know, not declaring other. war on RKR. No, for nothing. Literally nothing. You want me to declare war on them for nothing. Look, I get it. I get it. I get it that they are, you know, a world-ending threat. But at the moment, I'm dealing with vampires. The Sala, the, the fuck? Who the fuck killed them? All right, well. It is time. Now, my guess is that you know you can escape. Because you probably don't want to fight me, right? No. And you think you can escape, right? You're going to go around the mountain? Oh, you didn't. Okay, well, uh... Oh, but... Oh, no, we're going to get reinforcements for, for Oberstride to help. Though I think they got sacked, so... Yeah, they're looking a little bit... A little bit worse for wear, but that's fine. 
can definitely kill some uh, skeletons and vampires together, can't we? Uh, Rune of Battle. You... What does that do? Uh, many attack, bonus first infantry. Oh, go on then. Sure. Well, I'm glad they decided to stick close, because it means I can quickly wipe them out. It's got a nice little commanding position up here on a hill, and because of our artillery managing to draw them in, we are... This map always seems to separate the AI. The AI almost kind of wants to fight defensively, but this is rather silly, to be honest, because uh, they're now cut into three sections. So there's a little army advancing on us, which is going to reach us first. There's this flanking force, which is going to reach us after we've managed to deal with all of this. And of course, this does com contain uh, a vampire and a white king. So if we can deal with these first, that'll be pretty huge. Let's see, the flame cannon rains down around them. The artillery, and not the artillery, so the missile units opening fire. And then Ungrim charging in to deal with the white king. Which shouldn't be particularly difficult, because of course they are a large unit, being that they're on a horse. And Ungrim <laughs> just fucking murders anything, which is on a... He gets another 45 bonus first large. So, um, yeah, that White King went down like a sack of shit. And now this, this poor little vampire lady, really out of her depth, she lost half of her remaining health in one hit. Yep, that didn't work out very well, did it, madam? Nope. And down you go. Well, there we go. There we go. The uh, the first wave has been completely annihilated. Now, the only slight issue might be this, this vampire lord on an undead dragon. Our reinforcements will arrive in, well, now. Spoilers, they won't do anything. For some reason, they decide to, you know, it'd be really good if they were, like, moving this way and decided to engage the rear. Of, but no, for some reason, they decide to move up this way, completely circumnavigating the enemy army. Proving to be completely fucking useless. So thanks, guys. That's really helpful. Now, one thing you don't want to do as a dragon is, is try and get your fire breath off when you are surrounded by melee missile units. Because, yeah, this you know you lose half your health just getting your fire breath off and uh, doing very little damage in return. He doesn't quite know what to do with himself. Oh, he gets off another blast. Again, not the best idea, really. And then he tries to take on Garim and just get shot to pieces in the back. Yeah, there we go. Well, that didn't do very well, did it? And then the Vargulf is just getting fucking curb stomped. As our Slayers move in to mop up. Got the long beards on the flank there, trying to help up against the Crypt Ghouls. And buff us up with the old, the old Master Rune of Speed there. So it's going to give him more 56 melee attack, which is going to help against those Grave Guard. Not that we need it, considering all of the enemy army's command structure has been annihilated in fairly short order. Which means they're very close to panic, or at least as close to panic as undead units can be, and are now crumbling away. Hmm, I'm not going to be moving through my own territory, so I'm just going to take the Oath Gold, I think. Right. Let's head down towards the Moot, then. and take a little bit of attrition on the... Oh, hello. Oh, well, there were two armies down here. Guess I found them. I do have real questions about where the people of the Warhammer world decide to bury their loved ones, considering there's just gravestones littering the battlefield here. So, so where did you bury Grandma? Um, I don't know, some trees about 10 miles away. Was it a graveyard? No, 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 just thought it was a nice spot. You can really see the Skull Mountains from that point. Oh, nice. 
Isabella von Karstein moving in to engage Garim. Ungrim has uh, is headed off to deal with the Terrorgeist on our flank. Isabella taking a bit of missile fire there. We need to get Garim's not really a melee boy. You need to get him out of there. He's uh, he's not doing great, but uh, he should do. I mean, considering all the missile units need to be targeting Isabella, we should be fine. The Terrorgeist trying to get some breath off, I think. No, it, it's going to land. It's going to actually fight Ungrim for some reason. Not entirely sure why it would do that. The Blood Knights are trying to give us the slip. Heading into the trees, so we're going to have to try and pin them down. They really want to get at our Thunderers, and I need to try and stop them. A Vargolf has broken through our lines and is currently hammering the Iron Drake torpedoes. Isabella has... I think she's disintegrated. Yep, probably. There we go. And uh, the Crypt Horrors being dispatched. Another Vargolf there. Vargolf's not necessarily a huge problem for us, being that we are an army of slayers, of course. Uh oh, those Blood Knights really want to get around us. They're really doing it. Terrorgeist is being murdered by Ungrim. Although Ungrim's taking a bit of a bit of a beating himself. Uh, he does only have 30 minutes, but he's got 1.1k weapon strength, so he should be fine. Uh, the Blood Knights do finally manage to get into combat with the, the Thunderers briefly. They don't quite know what they want to do. And the Slayers are all over them as well, which means they didn't really get a charge off. They, they want to get around us, they just don't know how to do it. And now they're just disintegrating, because that was a silly thing for them to do. Never mind. The Vargolf is finally being dispatched thanks to Trollhammer Torpedoes. Those guys really... I mean, I normally don't really care for them, particularly an army with a load of Slayers. You don't really need their anti-large, but, you know, in a pinch, those guys really can do it. They are good at taking down big flying monsters as well. And there we go, the enemy army dispatched. The enemy necromancer being incinerated. Okay, good. Killed most of them. The only slight problem is there's yet another army in our path. And we are going to take attrition. Wait, no, we're not, we're not. We're actually going to heal up. Lovely. Oh, that's, that's what you want. That's what you want. Let's give you let's give you a blade shield as well. Um we can't okay, if I go into in I've I've just realized I've only got 19 guys. Because I'm meant to recruit another person and I forgot. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, that's classic me. <laughs> um, let's give you a little bit more speed, I guess. But we have managed to to knock out. So how many we've we got? We've got 24. So we are currently irked. Irked. Which is fine. We need to raid any... Okay, raid that. Raid that. God, we need to raid a lot of... If we raid a... The only problem is, where is Greenskins now? I... Right. I should have done that ages ago because... <laughs> Gonna have to go and raid Grimgor. Oh, mind you, Grimgor's over here now, so it's not too bad. <laughs> I mean, I say not too bad. Obviously, it's it's bad that um, he is right there, but we will we'll deal with this problem. Talking of dealing with this problem, hello. Boop. Ah, boop. That's fine. I don't, I don't want the fucker escaping. That's my only concern, is that piece of shit getting away. Mind you, I think he'd be dead anyway, because it was an intercept battle, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Not a problem. I wonder if... Hello. I don't want to talk to you, stunted kids. I want a mania. I could, I could sell him a settlement. I don't know if that's... Because he's at war with, um, with Zhao Ming. So, we could actually use that against him. Holy shit, Jamming is going fucking ham. Look at this guy. Do not believe the slander about me. I am my father's most honorable. Father's most coked up. You big drug boy. Got any more of that? Them there. Warpstone? Uh, right, we could upgrade this. It's going to cost me 1,008. Um, no, well, 18,000 is what it's going to cost me, which is quite a lot of money. Um, so maybe not that just yet. 
Oh, we could build this. That makes sense, doesn't it? I do like rangers. Rangers are very good. I should build more rangers. So let's do that. That's fine. We can we can heal up. And then we can head down to the moot. Capture that. At which point it looks like it looks like Vlad immediately it does feel like the AI has a priority for dealing with a player, doesn't it? Because because at one point, Vlad was, was like bearing down on the Empire. And then as soon as I declared war with him, he just moved everything back towards me. Which I guess I can kind of understand. But considering he'd already lost Castle Drakenhof, like I would feel like in his position, I would go, let's just move on. Let's just capture the Reichland, right? Let's just capture that. And then we'll worry about this afterwards. But they went, nope, 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 nope. Let us begin. Nope. I'm sure that Thunderer used to be guns as well, and then they changed it. Was that wrong? I don't know. I get the sneaky suspicion that it used to be that way, but I can neither confirm nor deny. Well, like Followed by Grimnir. Sure. And then we'll go Dowie Firepower because there's never a bad reason to take that. Obviously, it's not useful at the moment, but it will be. More money is always good. Making 4,000, which is fine. That's like a, a semi-decent stack, I would say. Currently, Ungrim's just going it alone. But to be honest, considering Ungrim, I think he should be fine. Oh. Military alliance between those two. Really? Just now? Jesus. I mean, Katarina is, is trying to hold them back. Oh. You know what? I think that should have more stuff. All right. Well, that's that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Yes. Do, do, do. Have you run away? The vampires have booked it. Um, I'll just occupy that because I feel like the halflings have probably... Probably had enough, to be honest. Can we get anything fun? Um, oh God, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind one of those, but I can't get them, so it's not until not this turn anyway. I mean, I grow restless. Ready. I feel like you probably. We merge you. I must fulfill my slayer oath. Because giant slayers just have that little bit more less melee defense. They, they feel more tanky. They've got more health, maybe. That's the reason. They're definitely more killy anyway. So we'll grab that. Your see fuck all there. Okay. I was thinking about getting the, the Sky Hammer, but then I gave that to someone else, didn't I? Could I get the Skull Regard? I feel like that is going to be probably more devastating to my own units than anything else. Um, We could go for a little bit more of a tanky front line. I don't really know what to do here. I mean, I could go for the flame count. I do like flame count. Oh, no, I don't think it's going to take four turns to recruit that, which is fucking ages. Um, I could get more hand thunderers. I do like the thunderers. In fact, you tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of the quarrelers. And we're going to get... One more of them. <laughs> mm. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to head down here and we're actually going to raid Grimgore, which is obviously going to piss him off. But um, I feel like I need that to, to knock out those, those grudges, which I think is going to really help our grudge problem. We're, Silver Pinnacle's currently fairly safe, which is great. So we'll hold on to that one. I don't think we want to make any aggressive maneuvers towards uh let's do less corruption that'll help how's corruption here going back up oh, come on kislev get your shit together all right the, the, you know what? there's no corruption here which is fine 
This is going up because of build it. Oh, because they got one in Schwarzhafen. I could go down and take out Schwarzhafen. It's probably within range, isn't it? So I go and take out that. That should remove the, the Vanfrit corruption down here. The Empire is on the offense, which is great. They may be able to retake Nuln. Should be nice. And we want to go with... Uh, we got the money building there, which is fine. Probably want to go with that, which we can't afford at the moment. Did I... Tell you what, if I cancel this... I am the Slayer King. Then we can get another one of those. And we get three Thunderers, a couple of Quarrelers. We've got the Iron Drakes as well. A couple of turns. I'm going to be on the move again. Bosh. Greetings. You no doubt have a request, I'll hear it. Military alliance. Go on then. Finally. Like it's not like we dealt with your biggest threat very early on. And only now, only now do you deign to grant me a military alliance, you piece of shit. Never mind. Right, we're still recruiting there for one turn. A little bit nervous about that, but we're just going to hop into there, do a little bit of raiding. Yeah, he's trespassing, but that's fine. I'm assuming Grimgor doesn't like us anyway. Yeah, no, he's really fucking not. He's not he's not a chill dude. Okay, we'll upgrade that one and that one and that one. Lovely. The Empire. Not you. Not you. No, why is it only Hopkins? Right, Clan Angrons. Set forth to fulfilling vows. Yeah. Oh. All right. Will you join my war? I get. Oh, you're already at war with the vampires. All right. Well, neat. Good. Everyone should be at war with the vampires. Go so far as to say. Li literally everyone. Yes. That's good. That's good because now everyone's just wailing on Vlad, which hopefully means he's going to get. Absolutely fucking curb stomped very, very quickly. Oh, great stuff. That's what he wanted. And then we can worry about maybe like Festus or something. And then uh, if we deal with Vlad, that leaves the Empire fairly free to deal with other threats. And uh, that is good for us because if you look at the old victory conditions, like formal settlements in there, that's quite a lot. Um, need to reduce that down to nine, which again should be fairly easy. Hero crew plus 10 is fine. I haven't recruited many heroes because I've been busy building money buildings. Got one one thane. <laughs> but in growth but I don't need this growth building anymore, actually. I can get rid of that. And that one. And then maybe I can get more heroes. Like that one? I would like more heroes. I'm not against having heroes. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Just like, you know, getting a little bit more money. We could we could get a dwarven beer. Now dwarven beer would Oh, look at all those grudges removed. Lovely. Delightful. I bet that's dropped our... But that's dropped our thingy-majig. Hello. I'm assuming that is one you've probably... Yeah, one of those. They don't, they don't hide the settlements very well, do they? Let's get rid of that. Oh, no, they spread plague. What's, what's our... Current severity is only 13. 10 and 3. So we've got Capture Karag Vlog, which is fucking miles away. It's a bull lake. And Kill Morphage. Apparently we really don't like Morphage. And, oh, the Bray Herds. Oh, oh I hate those guys. Oh, look, they've taken Schwartz half and form. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's... Closer than I'd like. Onward. Okay, let's go and retake Averheim. Holy shit, the sack value is 15k. I think this is definitely worth it. Uh, if we give that to you guys, and then we just kill every. I mean, it, it says medium casualties. I genuinely don't think it will be that bad, but I think we should probably fight it because I don't know how many other vampire armies are in the vicinity if we take a lot of damage and then they decide to jump us with like three stacks. When we hit end turn, that would obviously be bad. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like this could be a big payday for us. I mean, yeah, I kind of feel bad that obviously the people of Avalon have been invaded by the undead. Now a bunch of shirtless, hairy, small people are going to steal all their belongings. But, on the other hand, m maybe they shouldn't have lost to the hordes of undead in the first place. So maybe this is all on them. So we're going to send our boys in to attack the gates. Apparently there's like a thing where you could, if you pull back units and attack a gate again, they do more damage. I suspect there's probably like a mechanic where fortifications can only take so much damage within a time frame from certain number of units. This feels like it's something similar with like fleeing units, whereby only a set percentage of them can actually attack. So if you're if you're chasing an enemy unit and they're broken, then only a set number of units. Can, you can't just like all of your units when attack. It's only like twenty percent, which is why you sometimes get these big blobs. Like if there's like a large number of your units surrounding and a fleeing unit and they're not taking actually any damage it's because none of the units that are that are in contact with them are the ones that can do damage for some reason and i assume this is some way to kind of try and get you know to make fleeing not as devastating but on the other hand it kind of does feel like most because you know most casualties were suffered in a battle when they were running away right so it kind of makes more sense for them to, to for fleeing to be absolutely fucking devastating. If you're chasing down a fleeing enemy unit, it should be fucked. Which would then make units that can't break, like undeads and demons, slightly more useful. And maybe leadership more useful as well? Because that way, you know, if a unit didn't break, then they weren't going to get run down when they tried to break and... Does that make sense? It does make sense to me. But maybe they tried it and it didn't. Well, I don't know. But it, it just feels like, you know, un units that don't break like undead and demons, it, it seems much more worthwhile to run away because if you run away, you usually survive. Whereas units that don't run away tend to just disintegrate and then you have to replace them. Whereas if it was across the board, then units that didn't break would be significantly more useful. I don't know. Anyway. Ungrim is through. He's causing all kinds of havoc. It's up to 30 kills already. We blat the enemy. Uh, we're going to bring in all of our slayers as well. As they pull through the breach. No, we've actually got two breaches. One over here, one over here. We've taken out the towers as well because I didn't want them shooting at my artillery. Because I usually forget about that. So taking out the towers quickly seemed quite useful. It does seem like uh, artillery now do significantly more damage to towers because uh, a volley from all three pieces of artillery did take the tower down to about half health, so two volleys was usually enough to take it down to tower, which is pretty good. You know what? I get a sneaking suspicion that this battle has gone out of sync because I remember using that ring of, ring of fiery whatever. And that was on a large blob of units. It's not probably going to change the outcome because this battle is fairly one-sided, but weird that this is a desync, but never mind. You normally get desyncs if you, like, change mods or there's an update or something, but I'm, fight I'm fighting this battle right after I finish recording the campaign bit. Yeah, this has definitely gone out of sync. I say it's probably fine. You know, Slayers versus, versus Grave... Grave Guards is a battle that's going to go one way, really, isn't it? Because although we don't have huge amounts of armor piercing, we've still got 20. These guys are armor piercing, and they've got 29. So the original battle, mostly fighting in the front here. That was fine. Garen got a nice Rune of Wrath and Ruin off, which killed a bunch of them. And then we just swept in from both sides and mopped up, which is basically what's happening here. Victories in our grasp, yep, not surprising to be honest. Ungrim's already up to 152 kills. You don't really think of Ungrim as like a character, like a unit killer, but he's he's just a, he's an absolute bastard. He really is. Like, if you fight him, he's a pain in the ass to deal with. He's unbreakable for one, so you have to hope you've got some way of killing him. And by some way, I mean probably shooting him to death because meleeing him to death doesn't fucking work. He's just a nightmare to deal with. 
What's he got on him? He's got the Rune of Hearth and Home, so he's, get, he's, he's never going to get tired. He's got Frenzy as well, so that's more weapon damage, more melee. So he's got 101 melee attack, 792 weapon strength. He's got 5% physical resistance, 21% ward save, 65% spell resistance, 15%. So basically, he's just. Uh, every, every time I, I come up against Ungrim, he's always the worst thing in his army because he just does not die. And you can't break him either. So you just have to do. You'd have to do it the hard way. I genuinely think I've had battles where I've managed to kill his entire army, but then Ungrim has, like, basically managed to break me. Particularly if you're, like, you're using, like, vampire counts or something, because... Other than, other than your own characters, which Ungrim is really fucking good at killing, what are you going to do to him? You don't have missile units. And he's resistant to magic anyway. So you hit you hit him with a spirit leech and fucking hope for the best. Oof. Absolute nightmare. There's few characters which are as, as worrying as Ungrim. Look at him go. Fucking hell. 201 kills. He's just been going at it. He doesn't even have anything really big to kill in this battle. He's just been just been going at it. Uh, we do have some Black Knights charging into us, doing a little bit of damage there. Oh, and that battle then ended up. Okay, fine, whatever. It's really desynced the shit out of this battle. Fuck knows why. Bloody CA. Brutally one-sided. Just how I like it. Uh, I will... I don't... You know, I'm gonna sack it. The slayer in me seeks death. My command is damn it. Attack. I was really hoping I'd be able to hit it again. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Never mind, it's not the end of the world. Mind you, that attrition is pretty fucking... What the fuck? Why are we taking so much attrition? That's huge. I'm going to go from 70 to 57. What the fuck? Yes, for Slayer Cape. Okay, that's slightly better. I guess they've got the building which makes you take more damage. This one. Oh, it's this one. No. 25% casualty, right. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, that's fine. Right, we'll take a little bit of damage. I might take Cleanse Corruption just to try and offset this fucking, fucking corruption. Mind you, that will drop quite quickly. Uh, to die in battle. That will drop quite quickly. I think Blade Shield to make you even more tanky. Uh, I'll probably drop down below. It's going to go minus 19. Might be enough. Genuinely can't remember when... It, maybe it's just any corruption. Gives you attrition. My Never mind. Never mind. I've got I've got nineteen k, so I've got not much, not much to complain about. Mate. So we can upgrade this. It's very nice, and we could. I wouldn't mind getting like an engineer or something. So let's do something like that. And I don't have any more money to spend, but still, not bad. <laughs> I imagine this this raiding Grimgore. Don't you care for a demonstration of the power of fire and metal? Trespassing and raiding really does make him like us more. I could potentially like declare war and get him on side that way. I would love a defense. If I could get a defensive alliance with Xiao Ming, no one would fucking mess with me because that guy's straight like wrong. Who's straight like four? Who's straight like one then? Uh, Corones at two. What the shit? Fire. I am the blood of Zeal. Who's at one? They've got 27 provinces. Xiao Ming. <laughs> well, they strength rank four. Jeez. Oof. All right. Well, there we go. There we go. Right, you're going to head back home. I'm just going to hope this plague doesn't spread in my general direction. Uh, I don't want to raid myself either. Good. Glad, glad they're on board with that. Let's get more money. Good. Good. 
good. This is all... It's all looking very promising so far, isn't it? We're all heading in the right direction. Vlad is uh, is being squeezed. Like a pustule. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a Hello. Uh I would. Not not just at the moment. It doesn't like Belagar's taken out What's his face. Um Ikit, that's the one. Killed old Ikit. Right. Oh yeah, we did. We'd, we'd reduced it enough so that we didn't take attrition. We actually healed up, which is double excellent. Well, you say that. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, okay. Okay. It looks... Yeah, Vlad's getting his ass handed to him. He is legitimately getting, getting wrecked, which is great news. Um, the Boca Palace's doors are open to you. I'm gonna sell this to you guys. My people are. Good o. Okay, so the poll for next time is gonna be we're gonna we're gonna kill Vlad, obviously. Vlad now has what, like three settlements Gone left? Time. Three settlements left. Yep, he has folded very quickly with enemies on all sides, quickly rushing to smoosh him. Now, do we want to go up and deal with Festus and uh, wipe him off the map? Therefore. No, thereby uh, assisting the Empire and making them a little bit stronger. Alternatively, do we leave Festus to the, the Empire, Bretonia sort of alliance type thing going on there and move over to potentially head towards Karak Vlag? Because that is one of our thing. What are the ones? Oh, Morphage. We need to kill Morphage. Do yeah, so do do we go up and deal with Festus now with Ungrim or leave him to like the the Order Tide? While we bring Ungrim over to assist old Deck in finally dealing with the Skaven issue. Particularly because obviously there's Grimgore here as well. And Grimgore can be quite a handful. Uh oh. Hmm. That's potentially not good news. Doesn't matter. Right. Well, that's going to be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Which hopefully won't just be as late.